Welcome back to another Tuesday Talk. My name is Trevor, a pastoral intern here. This week is a special week for our church. And all those of you who have been coming here for a long time, uh, you know what I'm talking about. Because this week, right now, is Vacation Bible School Week. I mean, when I first got here at Hardin Baptist Church and saw the very first installment of, to me, of Vacation Bible School, it blew me away. Like the amount of kids that were there, the amount of volunteers, all the moving parts, not to mention the missions offering. Wow. It just blew my mind of how the Lord has grown this ministry and used it in so many ways to, to plant seeds and, and to uh, encourage people and to raise money to send out missionaries and to build up other ministries for the work of the gospel. So this week, uh, for Vacation Bible School, the theme is Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. As we think about this theme verse, as we think about all the work that's going to go into VBS and the skits and and the songs and the scripture that we're going to be reading, think through that simple truth. The Lord is your shepherd. Think about what this means. The sheep, when, when they go astray, right, they're valuable to the shepherd. Right? They are his livelihood. He would go after them. He would leave the 99 and chase the one to save the wayward sheep. So as we think about this psalm, just short six verses, right? These truths about who we are uh, as God's sheep, as, as the good shepherd's sheep, right? He loves us. He makes us lie down in green pastures and leads us beside still waters. Not only that, He restores our soul. And He leads us in paths of righteousness for the sake of His name, right? for the glory of the shepherd. And we could not just read Psalm 23 without going to the New Testament, where we see Jesus talks about Himself as a fulfillment of Psalm 23 and just this type uh, throughout the Old Testament of shepherds. Right, We see it all throughout Scripture. In Jesus here, in John chapter 10, verse 11, he says, I am the good shepherd. And he says, the good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. Right In the same way that a shepherd back in the Old Testament would leave uh, the rest of his flock to go save the one sheep from, from bears and, and lions and, and wild animals, he would lay down his life for this animal, how much more so? Has our good shepherd laid down his life to save you and I? Jesus knew where we were headed on our own. If he let us wander off to where we were going, we were headed straight for hell. But he came and lived a perfect life and wandered into into the depths of where we should be, right? And laid down his life as the good shepherd, as the perfect sacrifice, so that you and I could have life. So this week, as we think about Vacation Bible School, it's not just about the chaos and the fun and the, and the songs and the skits, but be in prayer for all those children, for all the volunteers, for all almost over a thousand people involved, that they would truly see Jesus as their good shepherd. And they would know that He laid down His life for them. And that through faith in the good shepherd and in His death and resurrection, that they could have life forever. And not only that, I love what Jesus says about the sheep. He says, The sheep hear His voice, and He calls His own sheep by name and leads them out. Then He goes on to say, The sheep follow Him, for they know His voice. Maybe this is just a challenge to you or an encouragement to you. If you are a part of the fold of God, if you are a sheep of the Good Shepherd, what will you do according to this text? You will hear His voice and follow it. His words are good to you. You desire them. You want to read them. You want to memorize them. You want to meditate on them because they are the voice of your Good Shepherd. Christian, if you are truly a part of the flock, that means that you are following the words of your Good Shepherd. Are you being obedient to the voice of the Good Shepherd, knowing He will come after you and bring you back to the fold, but you don't want to go wayward. You don't want to to be led astray. You want to follow 
the shepherd. You want to be in his presence where he can give you joy and peace in life through his words, through himself. So if that's you this morning or whatever time you're watching this, come back to, to the good shepherd. Listen to his words, obey them, and just abide in his love as the good shepherd. Listen to his voice, follow his voice, and follow him into life. Not just in, in heaven, right? Not just after we die, but life right now. Is Jesus your good shepherd? Listen to him, follow his words, and, and be, like the, be like David in Psalm 23. The Lord is our shepherd, I shall not want. Right? He fulfills our every desire. Is that you? Or are you searching after other desires right now? Is Jesus your good shepherd? I just encourage you to be in prayer this week for all the people involved with Vacation Bible School, that it would be another great year uh, of just Scripture being memorized through song and being taught in our classes. Just be in prayer. There's a lot of things that go into it. But don't forget, don't get caught up in everything and forget that Jesus is our good shepherd. Have a great week.